Do you guys want to save $200 for your Toby Eye Tracker? Well, this application is for you because you guys can use your eye to track using your phone and it performs very well. Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to teach you guys on how to use your iBeam Wear as your Toby Eye Tracker and with the use of your iPhone, you guys will be able to use it just like a Toby Eye Tracker. Before I start to this video guys, I'd like to say that this video is not being sponsored by nobody because I found this application extremely helpful and would love to share with you guys and credits to AP101 Gaming because I found his video extremely helpful. You can find the link to his video down in the description if you guys would like another tutorial on how to install this application and run it like your Toby Eye Tracker. But without further ado, let's get right into today's video. So the very first thing you guys are going to do is click the first link down in the description where it will take you to the iWear Beam um, website and you guys are going to download for your PC version. So you guys are going to go down and and find the PC software and download the PC software. Once you guys have downloaded the PC software, you will get this Beam application and you will also have to install this Beam application in your iPhone and it is not being supported in Android at the moment but you guys are basically going to download in your iPhone and both in your PC. So once you guys have downloaded the Beam application on your iPhone, it should show you know, streaming and disconnected. You guys are going to press the streaming mode and for your PC device, you guys are going to open it and as you guys can see, it's not being tracked right now now because I did have a previous configuration on uh, the iWear Beam application so I'm going to delete that application so you guys should see this application at the very first start and as you guys can see it will show your face because that's how it tracks with your face it's extremely cool but you guys would be able to see your face if you guys have your iPhone being set up and once you guys have set up your iPhone you should be able to see this so the orientation of the phone, you guys are going to click on, let's say if you place your phone on the left side and it's on the portrait mode, you guys should be able to press on the portrait mode, but you guys can tilt your device as well. And if you guys tilt your device on the left side, you guys can tilt um, pressing this button. And if you guys put your phone on the right side, you guys can uh, on portrait mode on the right side, you guys can click on the button. And if you guys press it on the landscape mode, you guys can press it on the landscape mode on the right side as well. But for me, I put my iPhone on the left side on the portrait mode. So you guys are going to press next. And once you guys have pressed next, there is some instructions you guys would love to read. The next thing is just calibration. So you guys are going to click with your mouse and look at the dots on the screen and basically just press all the dots. So once you guys have pressed all the dots, the application would be successful and the calibration should work as fine as, as you guys can see. You guys can turn on the eye tracking barber and as you guys can see, if you're looking at something, it would definitely um, definitely look for you. And yeah, basically that is what this iBeam software is about. And this is the first part of the installation. About the installation, you guys are going to open the uh, second link down below called open track you guys will be able to see and you guys want to press the third option which is open track windows 32 setup and once you guys have installed it you guys should be able to get this application and yeah i'll see you guys once i've installed it once you guys have installed the application you guys are going to write open track and once you guys have opened the open track software and installed successfully you guys would see an octopus staring at you in the screen so you guys are basically going to get the profile down below and as you guys can see it is the third link down below and this is the third and final link down below and once you guys have downloaded this thing or this beam uh uh what's that the beam settings you guys are basically going to open um you guys are basically going to open your profile and press open configuration and place your beam folder wherever you download it from it to place it in this document and select the beam profile 
So once you guys have done the beam profile section of it, you guys are basically going to open the options and set a control or a button for the center button. And for me, I did bind it to T, so it's very simple and press. And you guys want to make sure you guys bind to a button that you do not rarely press. I mean, you press rarely. And for me, I do have to invert all my settings because for whatever reason, whenever I look at the left, the right side will trigger. So I don't know if you guys have the plan, but you guys can always invert um the yawn pitch and pro if he has problems and the last but not least you guys are going to create a profile and find your steam uh profile i mean sorry you found your steam directory for your trunk exe and it's actually pretty simple to locate because for mine it is literally at um sorry you guys are uh, so i'm gonna show you guys where i found the steam directory for it so you guys are basically going to go your os programs files times 86 and go to your steam and if you guys open your steam apps you guys can see that there is a yo truck you guys are gonna press pin windows times 86 and basically you just press ok and you guys have configured this successfully so once you guys have known you have configured successfully you guys are gonna press start and as you guys can see the octopus should start moving but it may not be in the correct orientation so you guys can press mirror you know move around so yeah let's test it out in game so once you guys are in game you guys will be able to see that you know it does not work well you guys have to configure a button to allow you to use the track ar so you guys are going to go to options keys and buttons and scroll down all the way below and try to find the button that says uh enable enable hate tracking and for me i press the common button so whenever i press the common button the hate tracking would be available so as you guys can see there is no hate tracking right now but once i press the common button as you guys can see whenever i look at the left side it will trigger the uh, left side and if i look down it will basically look down and press up it will actually work and yeah this is extremely good for me because as you guys can see once i start my engine you guys can see that i can check the blind spot and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's Stay video back. guys and give it a subscribe if you guys are new and i'll see you in the next video and peace Turn out back. and enjoy my driving